Sick. Stream is up. <clears throat> oh! Bob Ross is streaming. Well, not the real Bob Ross, the Twitch channel Bob Ross. Really? Is it that time of the year again? Damn. Someone on my freaking server just said it's 2 a.m. for them. What the fuck? That is literally the exact opposite side of the earth. Because it's 2 p.m. right now. Fuck. Structure of the museum. I should probably put on my glasses. My TV is not far away, but my freaking eyesight is not the best. I'm gonna be real. Looks cranny? I, really, I don't know if I like that name. You have glasses? Yeah. I'm a freaking nerd. Is the Twitch chat working? Maybe. I don't know. If so, we can fix that later. On your screen? No. It's working there. Where is it? Let me grab it real quick. There we go. Put up there for now. Uh, I like to swap between back and forth. So there you go. Gulliver, I oh, thank you for saving my life, but I never got your number. Hope regular mail is okay. Do you know people still do these? Wild. Anyway, please enjoy this weird souvenir from me. I will indeed enjoy. Happy Home Academy. Is it the small gift? Like lots of furniture, and you've really made your home your own. Enjoy this in the included gift. Daisy May. We head to your island every Sunday morning to sell my precious turnips. It's the way my grandma used to. Plasma ball. Sick. Reusable energy. What's the time over at your place? It is 2 p.m. 11. 2 to 11. Hey, bigger room.
We should probably use the uh, actual designer thing. I want to grab the, the whole table. Can I do that? Damn. everything in pretty much the same spot. Just bigger, you know? I don't even cringe bad, because I started the game, like, two days ago. So I need to get a proper bed. Hopefully, anyway. I made a mistake last stream. I accidentally made the game like 20% louder than it should have been. So this time it's hopefully fixed. You know about reactions? I do not know about reactions. Ah. Nice. <laughs> Give me fossil thank. Dude, this game looks nice during the day. I mean, that's the only reason I play it at this time. <laughs> I would probably play it a lot later if I could. But you can if you don't want to, you know, be stuck at freaking pitch black darkness horror game. It's always been the, kind of the thing I've actually not liked about Animal Crossing. Is that you kind of basically had to play it at specific times of day. Because if you didn't, the game was like, well, uh, too bad? Actually, I should probably be, uh, doing this with my nav. Just in case there's a wasp nest that flies out. Like that. There we go. Easy. Would you look at that? It's perfect timing, dude. There has never been more perfect timing. I just said I should turn on my 3DS, because fuck waiting. I didn't like doing that, because then it kind of felt like I was cheesing. These just don't even have a house yet. I had a house like a day ago. Let's have a look at Nook's Cranny then. I don't know if I want to see Nook's Cranny personally, but if they're offering. Thank you. 
Epic. We're getting freaking able sisters, dude. Bunch of knives? Well, that's dangerous. I probably was having fun when I played Animal Crossing and didn't care if I was cheating. Yeah. Party popper? What the heck? Oh, these are all flowers. There's just some cheating that takes away from the game, I find. Like the people who are using like duplication glitches and stuff. Like why would you why would you do that? Like you can do it if you want. You're ruining the game for you. Cause this game feels pretty tightly designed in terms of what you're supposed to do per day. We do need to change the flooring and our wallpaper at some point, so we don't just look like baby's first house, you know? We'll try that out. But I did try playing uh, New Leaf. And I just kind of ran into the into that problem where I play it at really bad times, and the game just wouldn't let me progress. So, for example, I really wanted to get a net, I think, in New Leaf, but because I always played at like 8 p.m., all the shops were closed, and I could never get one. So I was just like, "Fuck." Well, I guess I'm not playing the game. <laughs> that one I think we did hit this one yeah we already hit it already let's do it anyway oh there's also the uh, the white ones there I'll be real I placed these flowers pretty much willy-nilly <laughs> primarily because the game's been like hey plant some flowers for a quest and I've been like okay so I put in the least effort possible and just dump them at least there's consistency to that honestly
Hey, we hit 12,000 views on, on Twitch. Place on floor. Place... Ho oh. Oh. It's probably best like that. Oh my freaking god, dude. Oh, that actually looks quite nice. I was hoping it would mash, uh, mesh all together, and it does. My color theory is correct. Oh shit. We got a bunch of, oh my god, freaking ring toss, dude. Wooden block stereo, wooden block toy. Soft wood iron nugget. I mean, we, I think we have all those resources. We could definitely make that. I mean, we, we do have all those resources. We just don't have them on hand. Oh yeah, there's this stuff. The plasma balls are dope. I really want this game, but I don't want to waste my cash on a Switch. Most of the games on Switch I like reported from the Wii U, which I had. Don't judge me. Dude, I had a Wii U. The, I, I, for real? This is going to sound like stupid poppycock. The Wii U was the only proper good console of the last generation. Everything, like all the other consoles, kind of just having their own pissing party. At least the Wii U was, like, actually trying to do something, you know? Too bad it bombed. I'm not surprised it bombed. But, uh, yeah, too bad it did bomb. Because it had a ton of good games, dude. I mean, for starters, you had, you know... Freaking, uh... Splatoon. Which I guarantee, like, uh, maybe like half the, the Wii U player base in total probably bought a Wii U for Splatoon. Or Smash Bros. Actually, you know, Smash Bros. is much more likely, actually. Although, because it was on the 3DS, you didn't really need to. Me being the, the schmuck that I am, I bought it on both 3DS and the Wii U. Epic. We in depth again, boys. What's a Wii U because everything good on it was ported to Switch. Yeah. I, I don't blame people for not wanting a Wii U now. I blame them for not wanting a Wii U when it came out because Wii U was freaking dope. It was just, uh... You know, 
not marketed well at all. <laughs> Those responses. It's basically just yes, yes, and sure. Sometimes it starts up automatically for God knows what reason and just makes me sad every time. Yeah, I, I unplugged it quite a while ago because, you know, Twitch. But. There are still a few games I would really want to play. Remember, you spent money at me? Shame on you. Yeah, there are still some games I want to play on Switch. Like, uh, what is it? Wario... No, Wario... Game and Wario, that's it. Game and Wario is pretty dope, dude. Well, I always end up kind of just wanting to boot that up and play with friends, because it's got a, a great selection of games. It's like a Jackbox party pack, except you have to start up a really sad console. Oh, hey, we have uh, other stuff now. What the fuck? Sign off, thank you. Put on the explorer's hat. I already have an explorer hat. What's up, Diplodocus? My man's obsessed with the muscles. Honestly, have we, have we ever seen a top heavy villager? They're all like pear heavy. <laughs> I've got I need to talk to him so I actually know what I'm doing. Absolutely yes. Finally, we don't have to freaking pole vault over the entire island. Probably put it like here. Here seems pretty sensible. And no, not just because it's really close to my home and convenient for me. It's totally for other reasons. Where are all the stones at, by the way? I haven't seen a single stone. Oh. One of the alpacas that work for the shop from uh, and it was super buff, I think. Oops. Ooh, 
Ooh, message in a bottle. Let's have a look. Yeah, you found it. You know how you get so bored during commercials? That's when I came up with this recipe. I wanted to share it with someone. I threw it in this bowl. You have to make it. Gabby. Epic shell table time. Dude, there's so much freaking money in the trees. Who else planted money in these trees? Bit lonely in the chat. Where's the other guy watching you? Most people watching don't tend to uh oh tend to tend to chat. Where? Where? Got a pill bug. Tough act to swallow. I mean typically speaking. Anyone chatting in chat is pretty big. Really? Only two money? I guess it's only two money. Wow. Oh, but why don't I just watch a YouTube video? I mean, that's why my VOD channel has more subscribers, honestly. Most people find it convenient to watch a YouTube video rather than a stream. I just found it weird how my, uh, my VOD channel had like double the followers slash subscribers that my uh, my stream channel does. One part of streams is that you get to interact with the streamer. It is. I guess most people just don't see it like that. is just an extremely un uneventful video. I mean, most people like to turn on... I would imagine people would turn on Animal Crossing streams to just kind of chill. Do something else in the background while it's playing. So you have someone else talking. You know, just, just noise. Which is understandable. So what do I do with this? I do because I don't because well, I can't have it. <laughs> Is there anything you're supposed to do with these money holes? Because last time I just tried to dig it up again and it didn't do much. Mounted black bass. I think you're supposed to put something in it. Maybe money? I don't have anything that I can plan. I don't just want a, a hole here, so... Oh! money hole. Let me have a look at a... Uh... Oh, sorry. Nook miles. We should probably look at that as well. Hmm. 
Boom house. Oh god, that's a lot of mo that's a lot of nuke miles. Oh, I was about to say, you get new, uh, new mouse for using reactions? Because if so, we can just spam them, but... No, it's actually learning them. Let's have a look at how much a bridge takes. Oh, that's a ship bridge. Log stakes clay stone. We literally have all of that. Look, this was my 3DS charger. I was one of them people who bought a, uh, a 3DS. Then immediately, like, two weeks later, Nintendo were like, here's the new 3DS. And I was like, fuck's sake, dude. Nintendo, please. But I also kind of didn't care that much. So it was just like, fine, I'll buy a new 3DS as well. I'll have two 3DSs, how about that? Just emulate the original Animal Crossing. One of my Dutch friends uh, did that a while back. It was really weird because I would not suspect he was the type to play Animal Crossing. At all. Like he's pretty much just been sitting playing like 20 billion hours of Doom Eternal recently. So it's a... Uh, and he pretty much played nothing but first-person shooters. So him playing Animal Crossing, I was like, really? You sure you've been replaced or some shit? Yeah. Well, hey, how you can, uh... Shake trees. You think em emulating New Horizons is doable? I don't think it's. I mean, maybe. I would never say never, but I would like to default to no. You know what I mean? Google time. Hmm. Oops. My wasp man got countered, boy. Completely shut down. Dude, so... Last night, I got this, uh, I'm sure you guys are working on it. Huh. So, last night, I was, uh, on my, my proper, I just fucking stabbed that fish. He's dead. But, uh, I got a random reply to a comment I made on a YouTube video, like, two years ago. No, three years ago. It was kind of, it was really weird, just seeing like a, a, a reply on a comment chain. It was so long ago. What is the one? Uh, log stakes. But the weird part was that happens sometimes. Yeah, it does. The weird part was that like they, they, they were absolutely crazy. Well, they weren't crazy. They were more like. I hate to say it, but they were kind of stupid. <laughs> you know, like they were, oh, I should just fill out. I should get rid of my inventory. I right, put it in storage, dude. That's too creepy. But they were really stupid and I really like didn't want to take it seriously at all. Let's get something, but your bot fuck blocked me. The bot did? 
It did? So I don't see it. Hmm. I oh, maybe they they post at different times for different people. Weird. Oh, uh, I need to talk to someone else. Does when you say F to the A to G. Oh, I blocked the message. Right. Yeah, uh, that's understandable. But I wanted to sell stuff to you. I didn't want to lecture, dude. I need to talk about this thing I was going to talk about. Oh, you'll hear it in a sec. I need turnips. The price is set in the morning and afternoon. Is this a Sunday? This is not a Sunday, right? Oh my fucking god, it's a Sunday. Uh, rusted part you probably need for something. That's more than I was expecting, so that's pretty good. Okay, before I get out of this store, we're good. Uh, what's up? Simple DIY workbench. They're re that's that's really easy to craft. I just don't know how much they sell for. Like. If it sells for like 300, it's not worth it. You really need to upgrade your PC because you haven't since 2011. Jesus. At least my PC's been updated in. Uh, I mean, I put in a new graphics card at some point. But overall, like 90% of the pieces on my PC come from 2015? Let's check storage and get our resources out. Maybe take the tree branches, take uh, the iron nuggets, take the stones. Stones, Luigi. Eight gigabytes of RAM? Now that is an absolute oof. That is a, that's an Omega oof, actually. At least I have 16. Log sticks, clay. <sighs> okay, I forgot about log sticks. No, uh, clay. Anyway. As I was saying, like, five minutes ago before the game required actual attention. I got replies to a comment that I made over three years ago. And the comment that I made was me, like, put, like, criticizing the YouTuber. Like, they did this kind of annoying thing. And I was like, hey, you should you know, tone it down a bit, you know? It would probably be best if you toned it down a bit. 
And of course, back when I made that comment, it ensued in like a massive freaking spur from everyone else in that YouTubers community. They were like, well, I like it when he's annoying and obnoxious, thank you. And I'm like, okay. Where's Clay? Anyway, that is, I got like a random reply to it again recently. And I swear, the dude, like, I, I could have told you, you know, I would have told you the person replying was like 12 years old. And he was so, like, authoritative. Authoritative? Seriously, he was like insanely authoritative. Authoritative. I don't know which one I'm, I, I mean. But he was... Well... He basically started out by saying, like... This, he, he, the, his, the gist of his argument was, if you don't like his content, don't watch it. Don't, and I'm like, yeah, but that doesn't mean I can't criticize it. Authoritative. There we go. Authoritative. Authoritative? Authoritative. There we go. Just the gist of his argument was, if you don't like his content, don't watch it. And I was like, no. That doesn't mean I can't criticize him. But then he was like, no. Actually, let me let me go look back. Because uh, I, I, I don't want to butcher it. Should take literally two seconds. I'm already there. Oh yeah, no, he actually came up and said, "You should learn how to use words in a statement before you make one." And keep in mind, his entire comment was like a run-on sentence. As in, you would probably type it if you were like a twelve-year-old who had no idea of actual grammar or, or shit like that. So he had this really long uh, run-on sentence, which was a chore to read. And at the very end of it, he was like, learn how to use words. And I was like, what? you telling me, dude? You're telling me? Now, I wish I could build it here. We can't. So I replied with, uh... For someone who's telling me that I should use words correctly, you sure can't type yourself. And, and he did the usual, you know... Literally right under the recommended specs. He did the usual, well I can type in proper English, I just choose not to. Like, okay. Sure thing. Then I looked on his channel, and like, he had a video from four years ago, and he was like 16 years old. At the, at the time. And I was like, what? You're telling me right now you're like 20 years old? And you're still typing as if you just came out of freaking primary school? Also, he had, like, zero understanding of actual, like, brain functions. <laughs> I don't mean, I don't mean that in, like, a really rude way. Like, he, oh, he's dumb. No, I mean, like, he didn't actually understand why people do things at all. Or, like, how people come to those conclusions. It's, it's, it's a really weird thing to, to say. But he just didn't have any, like, social ability. He couldn't think beyond himself and his personal experiences, which was, it was bizarre because like I couldn't criticize him for it because it's the type of thing where if you try to criticize someone for that, you end up getting into like a 20 billion thread discussion because they just don't understand what you're criticizing anyway. You know what I mean? I can't say you should, like, how do you word that? But I chose not to, and I just chose to, like, be dismissive. English in his native language. Sounds like something one of the old classmates would type out. No, I don't think he... I'm pretty sure he was properly English. 
Let me see what else. I don't speak up in any kind of detail unless someone gets ridiculous like you were doing. An, art, an adult is mature enough to find a video they like 100% instead of just complaining. So they basically, that, again, that was the gist of their argument. Don't watch. And I was like, and I just said, I, I wanted to try and be as dismissive as possible. Try and uh, kind of show that I don't care because I didn't. I really didn't care. At all. It was, it was a comment from three years ago. And I really don't give a shit. So I basically just said. Uh, what was it? What did, the, what did I say? It was it was something along the lines of. Uh, that he was just making a straw man argument. He wasn't actually making a point. He was just making a straw man. That. Uh. Just watch something, or, or yeah, just watch something else is a straw man. It doesn't actually defeat any points I made. Especially just trying to dismiss my entire argument for the sake of, like, probably bias. Who hasn't? It's nice. Oh yeah, one of the most hilarious things they uh let me see, uh, let me, let me see what Tom Nook is saying first. I should probably pay attention to what Tom Nook is saying. One of the most hilarious things that they stated was was it like adults get over these type of small things. And I was like, dude, my comment was literally three freaking years ago. Do you think I've held a grudge for three years? About this one YouTuber doing this really slightly annoying thing at the time? And that I didn't go and watch other content? Like, see, like you, you, can, you can start to see what I mean. He didn't have any, like, higher brain functions. In the, term, in, in the sense that he didn't know why people do things or, like... The, the scale of time, or I don't get over these things. They clearly, they clearly haven't. That was also the other ironic thing. They were really, really, really adamant about like trying to put me in my place by saying just watch other content, and that the discussions that I were having were petty, or the the points I was making were petty. But he was so so adamant about it. So I just said, and, and I just said, you seem you seem to care about it a lot more than I do. And then he was like, another dismissive argument. Like I'm not, dude. I'm not here to jerk you off, dude. It's a comment from three years ago. Do you not know the the actual effects of time? Start playing games, system files. Oh shit. Oh shit, a ladder? Yeah. Oh, beds. But overall, it was just a very like hilarious comment chain. I would send it, but it's on my personal YouTube account instead. And not there's anything wrong with that. I would send it anyway. I just, you know, no real, no real point if I can just tell you what the comment had. Because. Like, to show you, to give you an example of one of the authoritative things he said. Here's, uh... Again, I started being, like, very dismissive of it because he, you know... Just, I, I, I don't care. And I think he's just looking for a fight. For no reason. So, I basically just said... Like... He made some really dumb point, and I really couldn't be arsed refuting it. And I said, um, let's see, 
I said, government mandated lockdown affecting you this badly, eh? I, I, cause like, what else am I supposed to say, dude? There's pretty much nothing I can say. And then he's, and then he came up with an absolute banger statement where he said, I'm actually allowed to leave the house still. And again, you're out of this argument. You have no say until you learn that there are things you won't like than other, that others do. And, and I, to that, I literally just replied, lol. I actually genuinely just replied, lol. Like him acting like a freaking, like, dad, you know? Like, you're out of this argument until you learn that other people like things more than you. Like, okay. Is it past your bedtime, dude? A bit light. Man, that, was, that shit was fucking hilarious. Oh well. A very stagnated conversation we just had. I was hoping it'd be a lot smoother than that, but it didn't go well. I, th I th honestly thought for a second that was the freaking Star Wars thing. Uh, one of the Star Wars themes. Like, from, from Empire Strikes Back. No, yeah. Cloud City. Say age makes you more mature. Real life on the internet is poof. That's bullshit. Ah, uh -huh, true. Dude, you can't tell me that isn't the Star Wars Cloud City theme. This is totally the Star Wars Cloud City theme. What do we need to do? Uh, oh yeah. I should probably also put away all this stuff. What do we have to do? Uh, we have to place down houses. Also, we have a ladder now. We can actually go and do some epic weed collecting for all the weeds left on the, on the island. What else can we build? I also want to build a wooden uh, bed. Oh, we got more here. Our house is a freaking mess right now. But that's fine. Really? We don't have any more uh, wood? We'll go out and, and chop some wood. Why did I pull out the shovel? I remember leaving your OG Animal Crossing here for two years when I came like there was more weed than more weed than ground. That's also one of the things that I, I one of the reasons I, I don't play some of these games sometimes. Like uh, Animal Crossing and Tomodachi Life. Because I know when I boot it up, the game is gonna be like, hey! It's you again! We haven't seen you for two years! I'm like, shit. It's like running into a really old friend. And they're like, hey, we should hang out again. And I'm like, ah, uh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Uh, I'll just say maybe for now. Why are you not chopping the trees out entirely? Because I want to keep them. There's no reason for me to chop them down. Uh, 
that shit sucks. Oh. Oh, an epic. More we'll chopping the leg of this cat to eat it. I mean, not really. You can't actually destroy trees with this axe. So this is a this is a resource axe, basically. If I want to chop down a tree, use the use the actual axe. tree. The uh, put up the freaking meme of the dude saluting and then screaming. That's me right now. I love that meme. Dude, there's a certain rhythm you can get when you chop when you chop trees. Damn, it's not that. It's absolutely not that. Where you can do it, like, kind of fast. Yo, y'all ever know the, uh, the Animal Crossing tree tech? Oh, I did it twice. There we go. Where you skip frame one. Professional tree dropping. Excuse me, sir. Oh, I did it! Free tech. Baby tree. Oh, I know where I know when it is. On the baby tree. We can punt the baby tree. Oh, that was it. My character doesn't look happy about it, but he did just get stung by a bunch of bees. My room is a mountain of Coca-Cola cans. My room is actually pretty clean. Wow. Unbelievable. It would be filled with uh, Dr. Pepper cans if I had the choice, though. No good. Uh, we need to make a bed. I would like a bed. Good bed this time. Where is good bed? It wants us to make a simple block set. Wooden block toy. Yeah. And call us the day makes the doctor wish he could go away. Man, my blood pressure, uh, my blood pressure absolutely adores the amount of soda I drink in a day. Actually, I'm done crafting. If it's less than three, you'll be fine. Three what? What's the what's the metric here? Are we doing like the the good old meme of like we can't? 
Well, uh, that's what, 900 mils? I probably drink about two liters a day, unfortunately. No, I want to go into the this one. Thank you. Damn, I wish I could do that. Did the freak just fart on this? Uh, how do we rotate again? No, not back out. Can we put this on top? Please? No, it doesn't let us put this on top. That sucks. Oh, you can only do that. Put the ocarina there. That'll be fine. Throw it off. Run that shit off, dude. Oh! What the fuck? Can you play your own music? That'd be kinda dope. CBT. I didn't mean to drop it. What is the tool we need the least? Probably the watering can. Let's see, pick this shit up. Also, uh, get my watering can back and just put it on the ground so we can just easily pick it up. Oh, it's tiny. You just put it over there until we need it again, you know? That's what she said. We need anything else? My current objective is to place houses. I shall claim. Thank you. Maybe we can get some new hairstyles. Maybe we can get this, get rid of this ugly, awful hairstyle. Or reward. Let's have a look at the map and see where we should place houses. I mean, I definitely think one should be, uh, up, like, middle right. What a gigantic collection of switch rods. Yeah, I think I know where I want my houses.
tick. Oh, did I not actually do it? No, I did. So we should definitely place one here. Let's get rid of this tree down below. This one right here. Dude, you know what movie I was hoping would be good? Uh, Mortal, en Mortal Engines. Let me actually say it properly. I heard that Mortal Engines, the book, was getting a movie. And I was like, dude, that's kind of cool. I kind of know about Mortal Engines. I know what it's about. And then, like, the movie came out. And it was... And I was told that it was kind of garbage. <laughs> I mean, it's to be expected. But still... I'll probably move this house up a tiny bit. You know, just enough room to sneak behind the house. Not enough room to, uh... Actually go up against the cliff. Or maybe we should... Should we put it up against the, the cliff? Probably not. I think this is the spot. Yeah, I think that'll look good. Yeah, I'm good with that. The phone is ringing. Sick. So we actually have to build these houses as well. Build construction helpers, please submit items for this building following specified procedures. Oh my god, take interior items. Peach spice box, peach chair, pot. Is that it? I don't have anything to turn in. A bed, swinging bench, barrel. This seems like a lot of work, dude. I have to clean my entire room. Resources, boy. What? That's not where I. This is the exact opposite of where I asked you to dig. Oh my god! Please, it's this spot here.
I mean, I also need to get rid of this stone, so we need some fruit. But I'm pretty sure we can actually climb on top now. There's some fruit trees above. That we never got to before. I should also always be carrying fruit with me anyway. Goss. I've never actually been up here. Are these all really winter trees? I swear I saw some fruit up here. nothing there yeah we don't we don't have fruit it sucks shit there's a present oh it's good a present we don't need it anyway Let's get our shovel. Uh, let's consume. Bottom. Probably not that close. Here will be fine. Sick. Oh no, what are we gonna need for this one? A wreath made of flowers. Okie dokie. I've already been playing this for an hour and 20 minutes. Shh. Let's go place the third one. I think I wanted to place the third one here, if I can. I don't know if the game will allow me to place them on cliffs. We'll find out. companies are going to do with their movies now because no one's going to be able to go out and see them considering the lockdown going on 
I do know that Marvel uh, delayed their movies. They're originally coming in, in, in like May or or, July, or June. I can't remember when it was. I think it was May. But like they're just delaying it. They're not like doing anything else with it. Oops. I fully expected more companies to start going the route of what's it called releasing their movies online like having a ticket you can buy and you can watch it and in fact that's the route I want most of them to go in. I think that's a really good idea primarily because it's really good for the consumer I mean it's really bad for pirating but it's people pirate anyway you know what I mean whether they pirate early or not, it is different, actually. But it's, it'll, it'll be a good experiment, because I'm pretty sure that Universal Studios... Universal Studios? Universal Pictures? I forgot which one it was, uh, what their name actually was. But they're actually releasing their recent movies online, from what I heard. Which is cool, because they should totally do that. So we can see how, uh, how that goes. I mean, it's not going to help that, from what I saw, the movies they're releasing are kind of not interesting at all. You have two of those giant trash bags filled to the brim with Coca-Cola cans. I know the feel. But yeah, it's a shame that... The movies they're apparently releasing kind of look like crap. Or just not interesting. Because if that doesn't do well, them releasing movies online, if that doesn't actually do well at all, they're going to use that as an excuse to not do it in general. You know, the more that we reward companies for doing pro-consumer things, the more likely they are to they are going to be able to do them. What's this about movies? Uh, Universal Studios are releasing their movies online. From what I remember. So they're offering like a, I think they're offering like a virtual ticket. You can watch it once or so. It's a pirate, it's, uh, it's a, uh, a pirate's bet, uh, wet dream. But I'm hoping that this kind of paves the path for more. Because th there's already some systems going on where you can watch movies at home instead of going to the theater already. With something like uh, Big Screen VR. Big Screen VR actually got official movie licenses to screen movies inside their, their, their VR game. So they were going to have virtual theaters. I think that's a freaking brilliant idea. That's a god tier idea, dude. It's so good. It's definitely something people should be doing way, way more. I'm kind of sad that people aren't doing it more, actually. But the, uh, the whole scare with people not being able to go outside and, you know... The entire economy tanking because you know no one can go outside and do consumer things they're starting to to warm up to releasing their movies online more universal studios specifically uh marvel hasn't caved yet but i suspect marvel's gonna cave and they're gonna go okay we're releasing black widow online because no one else can get out and see it anyway Either that or they're genuinely just going to keep a hold of the movie until they can release it safely. Which isn't going to be for a while, by the way. It's going to be like a year. Even better considering all the lockdown shit. Yeah. Marvel doesn't need to. They're on Disney+. Plus. That is, that is factually true. They can just release on Disney+. Plus. But even then, I think that that's a good idea. I think that's, that's, that's good. Because... I don't really care how they release it. What I care about is movies being available to watch on release at home. That's what I care about. 
because so, sometimes I just don't want to go to the theater. And also, I don't have, I don't really have friends anymore to go and watch movies with. I used to have like uh, a few dozen friends I could go and watch a movie with if I was, if we were all interested. Most of them have moved away now, and I, I can't. So I'm like, well, every movie I see, I'm, I guess I have to go see myself, which is fine. I don't hate that. In fact, I enjoy it a lot because, you know, you you do things at your own pace at that point. You know, you go to the movie, you're like, what, what do I want to do? It's not like, what do we want to do? So it's, it has its merit. But I can get the comfort of that, of being able to do things my way. While also watching it with friends, if the movie gets released online. Because then both me and, me and like up to a bajillion other people can buy a ticket for a specific time, watch the movie online, and like all at the same time while it's, uh, you know, while we're all at our own home. And I think that's a great idea because then I can, like, I can watch movies together with uh, online friends instead. Instead of how actually having to have in real life friends with you. You can already kind of do that with Discord streaming. You can, but you can do it with movies that haven't released. You have to wait. I'm, I'm meaning specifically like the theater experience, but at home. Watching a movie that just released in theater. In the homebrew server. I've always wanted to hold a to movie ni movie nights in my Discord server. Uh, the problem is, I know for a fact I would not be consistent with it. Like, I, I, it's just it's it's fact. Every time I've tried to, tried to do something consistent, it's gone for a while, and then it just kind of falls apart eventually. Either because other people are not as interested anymore. Or because I just kind of fall off because I did something else that day. Like Jackbox. Jackbox is a prime example. I also tried doing like a podcast like two years ago. It didn't really work out. Uh, Jackbox we, we rebooted like three times. Because we... It's, it's consistent. It's We consistently want to play Jackbox, which is good. I don't think, I don't think that taking breaks is bad. Or disrupting patterns is bad. It's just, you know, I said I was going to do something. And uh, I'm kind of sad that I, I don't do it. Consistently. In fact, something more recent. Where I said that I was going to do Tabletop Simulator every Friday. But uh, I haven't. In fact, I kind of did do Tabletop every Friday up until Doom, up until Doom Eternal came out. Because when Doom Eternal came out, that you know it released on a Friday, so I couldn't play tabletop. I give a shit ton of movies. I could do a movie night sometime. Yeah, I said I would do tabletop simulator uh, every week on Friday, and I just didn't. Uh, one of the last, or for the last two weeks, because. Uh, the Eternal came out and kind of disrupted the flow. And then this came out, and then I was like, well, I gotta play this as well. But it also works out because everyone I was playing, everyone I would have played it with is busy. So, well, not true. Speedy isn't busy, Bippin is busy. So, I, we couldn't play it anyway, even if I wanted to. Uh, and, and, I'm not, and I'm not placing the blame on them either. I didn't, I didn't even coax them. I didn't even say, hey, do you want to play tabletop? I was just like, fuck it, I'm playing Doom Eternal today. Or, fuck it, I'm playing Animal Crossing today. So yeah, so, uh, schedules are hard. Intending schedules is impossible.
<clears throat> I'm I best suit a schedule when it's with someone else. If someone else is relying on me to do to do it, uh, I'm usually much more likely to do it. Oh, there's so many freaking weeds, dude. I hate that so many games came out this month. I actually kind of agree. I don't like that Doom Eternal and Animal Crossing released on the same day. Because I felt really sad for a while. Like, I felt like I was missing it really badly when I played nothing but Doom Eternal and, and I couldn't play Animal Crossing. I mean, I, I physically couldn't play it. I didn't have a setup for it. I didn't have a TV or... Or stuff like that. So I was just like, I can't play it, dude. I literally can't play it even if I wanted to. And it makes me so sad. Because I bought it. I, I bought it and I got it on release, but I just didn't play it for like a week. So then I was like, well, if... I adopted like a, a more proactive mindset recently where if I have a problem, I will do everything in my power to fix it. I think that's like, it, 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 it's, I think it's a very good mindset to have. Because then I was like, hey, I want to play Animal Crossing, but I don't have a, I don't have a, an appropriate setup. How do I get this setup? Well, I have to move a lot of stuff into a very unoptimal position, but I would rather play Animal Crossing than be in a 100% comfortable position, uh, setup-wise. So, uh, I'll do everything I can to make it like that. So I had to move my entire PC, swi uh, switch all my cables around. You know? What am I looking for? I'm looking for fruit. They're all AA Ray price. I'd be sad if I pirated just because I'm a bad, uh, because I'm a bad guy. And I'd be sad if I bought it because I'm in family of snobs and it's 60 bucks. Usually I have enough money to buy everything I want to buy. I'm kind of very fortunate to be in that type of situation where I can buy any game I want. And uh, it doesn't really break the bank for me. Nope. What is this? Oh, cool. That's kind of dope, actually. Thanks for the money, friend. Also, yesterday I said I was going to play uh, Half-Life Alex, and I didn't. The reason I didn't play Half-Life Alex yesterday, even though I said I would, and I planned specifically around it, is because after I finished my Animal Crossing, uh, Animal Crossing stream, I got insanely hungry. And I was like, you know, to make a meal, it's going to put me over the... Like, if I stream Half-Life Alex and eat... I'm going to go over uh, Midnight. You also bought Detroit Become Human when it was out and didn't play it for months. Actually, I didn't play it from... I didn't... This is going to sound like a weird sentence. I didn't play it for months. I didn't play it. Period. I still haven't played Detroit Become Human. I have the game. Uh, I've opened it, but I haven't played it. I think... Uh, it's... Oh, another game I bought for full price, I think, and I haven't played. And this was re recent as well. It was in December. I bought Samurai Showdown. I have Samurai Showdown right here. On my, uh... In my, uh, what's it called? Game collection. But I just haven't played it. Like, I was really, really wanting to play that game. So I was like, fuck it, I'll buy it. And then I just didn't have the time. I think, um, I can buy a game and not play because I get very preoccupied with other things.
It's the type of thing where if I buy and I'm like, all right, I'll play this whenever I'm free. Typically, that means I'm not going to play it. Because when I'm free, I look for something else immediately. And usually there's something on hand. Oh, I was going to place the house. The entire reason we cleared that up area. But I just got obsessed with clearing those weeds because I hate the sight of weeds in this game. Weeds look so bad. So, uh, I cleared them. I'm always free because I never do anything because most things cost way too much. We're getting to another topic here. I think. But I kind of have a problem with mismanaging my time. It's the whole procrastination, uh, procrastination, uh, effect, where, I don't know where I want to put this. I kind of want to see it from down, down, down here. I don't want to put it too close to the edge. Because then it'll look awkward. But I, I have a big problem with mismanaging my time. In the sense that, if I have multiple things I want to do, like, hey, I want to draw, but I also want to stream, but I also want to play a game. Uh, typically, I don't do any of them. I end up just not doing them. Because uh, making a choice is hard. So I just don't make a choice and I procrastinate instead and I watch a bunch of YouTube videos. Luckily, streaming is one of those easy ones because I want to play X game and I want to stream typically go together like jelly. It typically mixes really well, so it's quite easy for me to start streaming. I find that the solution is planning everything and following it to a T. Yeah, but then we come to the whole uh, discussion of schedules where I can't stick with that shit. I get it, dude. I look ugly. For a while, about a year and a half ago, to give yourself rewards and punishments. Come. <laughs> Timmy just said come. No, Timmy, no. Actually, it was Tommy. Actually, that's kind of all I want to give you. Uh, about two years ago, uh, I purposefully tried to make it so I would draw it at a specific time. Basically what I did was I manually made it so that my internet shut off. Ooh. So I just manually shut off my internet so I couldn't watch YouTube videos, I couldn't play games, I couldn't do any of that. And so I thought, well, then, you know, then I just draw. Because then I, I, I have nothing better to do. But I can't do that anymore because every single time that I'm awake... Like, my, my sleep schedule is quite fucked. I would normally cut my internet around, like, 3 p.m. Or 3 and a half p.m. But now, I, that's usually when I wake up. And if I wake up around there... I'm just gonna sleep in so I go past it. You know what I mean? I'm gonna take efforts to avoid it. So then you go, oh, well, you just put it up at a later time then. You know, like 5 p.m., 6 p.m., 7 p.m. I was like, yeah. But those really encroaching times where I need to be doing things with other people instead. 
post about 6 p.m. is where uh, my schedule gets pretty tight in terms of friends. Where, you know, one friend wants to do something at 7, one, one friend wants to do something at 8. I want to do something with others at 9. But doing something where I just end up thrash, uh, thrashing at the box. Does that until it stops working. Let's see what we can craft now. We, we got a bunch of flowers. I'm guessing we unlocked a bunch of new stuff. Unless we didn't. Mini DIY workbench. What's the difference? One looks nice, I would assume. Oh, fuck. Yep. It is all aesthetics. Or is it? Dude, that freaking theme that playing that was playing right there, absolute banger. <laughs> Whoosh! I was telling this to Bippin last night, but do y'all want to know how much delay my capture card has? To give you an idea of how much delay my capture card has, the audio you're hearing of the game is audio, not even five seconds. The audio you hear from the game, like every single game sound, is coming from my PC. As in, I'm transmitting the audio from my television to my PC. The, the, uh, this audio isn't coming from the capture card. And because it's basically in sync, the audio has no delay. So, you can kind of surmise there is actually basically zero delay between my capture card and my uh, and my my stream. <clears throat> Peace surprise box, piece chair pot. I feel like I want to write these down, honestly. I, I immediately forgot. Uh, peach surprise box, peach chair pot. Oh, we should crash out then. So, have you noticed zero delay? That's because there basically is zero delay. Peach surprise box, peach chair, uh, pot, play. Let's go and get a bunch of peaches. Give me... Peach. 
You know what was such a good idea? Making it so the the chat messages disappear after a while. Because I previously had to just manually uh, turn off the Twitch chat. Which is kind of annoying because if I forgot, the Twitch chat would be there with the same messages for like an hour. So now I don't actually have to pay attention. I think we can only craft one of these items, unfortunately. Which stinkeroonies, yeah. I also should have gotten clay, but I'm a Dumbo. Give me peach. Oh, oh, it's just my wrapping paper. I would like five. No. Absolutely nothing else looks interesting. Then we go and get clay. Is the clay? No, I'm not drop. <laughs> Please don't drop. This uh this fossil away. Oh, we need the peach surprise box. Um, that's pretty good. I don't think we need any other materials. Probably we do. Give me pot. And that's all interior items done. Now we just need the exterior crap. Hey bed, swinging bench and a barrel. A bunch of weeds. Shit, <laughs> we just put away a bunch of weeds. Uh, swinging bench. Barrel requires nuggets. Also, I don't know how that person who's on the uh, the upper floor of the island is gonna be able to get down. Uh, that's their problem, not mine. We don't have any nuggets. Sucks. Hmm. 
Aw, do you stop? We are currently putting everything away so I can go on a run. We'll go to a different island. And none of those are done. Damn. We'll go and place the swinging bench outside first. Placed. Let's go buy a ticket and maybe some extra hairstyles. Get rid of this ugly toupee. Oh. Yas. like to make another selection give me these their colors well I don't really need hair colors hair styles there we go why not didn't even read reading's hard dude Some cool hairstyles. I bet I could change up my look with a vanity or a mirror. Oh. We should probably buy some medicine. Do we need to buy medicine? Can't we craft it? Lost nest and a clump of weeds. Well, that's not ideal. Sup? I would like to go flying, please. Yeah. I want to go to a random island, please. We also need weeds, so we'll pick up the we'll pick the weeds with us. been this on this island before? I 
totally have. Yeah, I think I have. Because I remember this uh, this tree here blocking me a few times. Oh shit! Well, see you, Stone Axe. You were uh, a good help. I'm not gonna smack the trees just yet. Because if a beehive falls out, there's a very slim chance that we can actually uh, escape it. I'd rather collect all the resources we need first so we don't waste a mouse ticket, you know? Then we can start smacking trees. Maybe rather use my shovel. Oh, yeah, we've totally been here before. What well, gives Nintendo? I thought these islands were randomly generated. Or, like, at least somewhat. Oh! So many, uh. So many iron ore, dude. So many iron ore. That is not English. Let's remember to destroy all of these trees. Actually, we should go. Uh, we should go up a floor with our handy dandy new ladder. That'll be every weed on the map gone. Hey. Let's eat some fruit. Resources, baby. Speaking of baby, you know what was a fantastic movie? Baby Driver. Dude, Baby Driver is so freaking good. Except the last act. The last act is a little bit messy, but the rest of the movie is 
unbelievable. That is Onyx. The last act is extremely chaotic now. Oh, you don't get douched. I thought we got screwed. And you get sent back. You don't. Last act is extremely chaotic and I love it. Uh, I'm leaning more like in the pacing department. It kind of gets a bit weird. Kind of loses its focus. Slightly. But I still love it. I'm just saying, it's, it's less good than the rest of the film, but it's still good. I heard the, uh, they're working on a sequel. Edgar. Edgar. No, no, Edgar. Uh, some, some, I, what, I, I shouldn't forget his name. He's so good. Edgar Wright? I think that's it. Who's about that? I was going to say Edgar Allan Poe, and that is not correct at all, in the slightest. So I'm glad I didn't say that. No! My axe! Fucking <laughs> Edgar Allan Poe. That's my favorite director, Edgar Allan Poe. Do I ever heard of him? Shame. I would like a proper axe. If I, if I had to have a choice. But if I can make both, I'll make both. Damn. Oh. There we go. All fixed up, baby. Dude, that'll make such a great thumbnail, dude. If I use it. Dude, for real? Okay, so... Getting a thumbnail on uh, my VOD, for my VOD channel, has quite a significant... Uh, what would it be? It has quite a significant white on whether I'll stream that game again. The harder it is to get thumbnails for a game, the uh, harder it is to get me to play it again. Which is probably half the reason why there's so many Dragon Ball Fighter streams on my YouTube. Because it's so freaking easy to get thumbnails for that. It is so easy, dude. It takes literally like two minutes. But something like uh, Dead by Daylight. Dead by Daylight is so much significant. Uh, it's just significantly harder to get thumbnails in. It's almost impossible to get good thumbnails. And uh, I, I recently had a massive struggle with getting thumbnails for Half Life Alex. Like a gigantic struggle. The biggest I've ever had. I spent quite possibly two, uh, no, uh, what's it called? An hour and a half. I spent quite possibly an hour and a half making thumbnails for Half Life Alex. 
Part two. Can I make a fishing rod? Oh, we're done here anyway, pretty much. Even though I also, I did spend an hour and a half making a thumbnail for Half-Life Alex Part 2, it wasn't a good thumbnail I ended up making. Every single thumbnail I tried, it looked like crap. And I was just like, dude, I don't want to spend any more time on this. Get the best one and that's it. So I got what was quite possibly the best one out of like seven different thumbnails. And I gotta say, it still kind of looks like shit. I hate it. it. Doesn't look like VR at all. It has no connotation to Half-Life whatsoever. And oh, it's... sad times. But I still want to stream Half-Life Alex. I just wish getting thumbnails for it was easier. No, you're just lazy. You don't actually want to help me. It's easy. You just need to give me freaking peaches and nuggets and... See, uh, put in storage, put in storage. Oh, oh, not that. Probably not that. I don't know why I'm also putting it in storage because I'm going to have to grab it out again. I guess maybe just to. Oops. Oh, okay. Because I know I'm going to need it again. For this, I should also make a mirror. So I can change my hairstyle. Look at all this shit. Where's all the stuff with that? There it is. Am I going to need to make things? Uh, probably tree branches. Probably flowers. I wonder what that was. <laughs> we have an actual wasp in our... Uh, in our storage. I also need to craft a new, uh, new one of these, so that's good. Dude, it's weird how he speeds up, he just goes so fast. Let's make a mirror if we can. shit down Did I change up my look with the wooden table mirror change it up oh sick you can actually change up everything that's very nice I thought you wouldn't be able to change a lot dude who the fuck does this fucking remind me of I actually genuinely think it reminds me of one of the characters from Jojo Part 5. 
but when they were younger during a flashback they let you change haircuts with the dumb haircut system apparently that is just doppio this is this is doppio that is hilarious oh that's android 18. There's a, uh, what's it called? Credence from Fantastic Beasts. Dude, this is the ultimate Castlevania hairstyle. Yeah, this is like the type of thing like a Castlevania protagonist would have. Go bald. You actually can go bald. You can get close to bald, but you can't go bald. With the wrapper haircut. You mean this? Nah, we'll go with this. I'm actually really glad you can change everything, not just Quite nice. Ooh, Castle Man. Castle Man looks cool. Alright. White hair. <laughs> Just go full freaking Castlevania. Did I craft something? Yeah. Craft a barrel. A single barrel. What else did they want? Uh, they wanted uh, a hay bale. No, not keep crafting. We don't need anything else. can go here I mean, a bit further this way you know just to get out of the way of the house don't want the job of the construction workers to be much harder you know Exterior items, nice. Got him. And we're done. Take this bad boy and getting to the next. Gang? Oh my god, I just said fucking Scottish, dude. Getting to the next. Didn't even intend. Wooden block stair, wooden block table, loop wreath. Put down the DIY table. He wanted the wooden block stair, wooden block table. The wooden block toy. Uh, 
Well, do you believe in me? Do I believe in you? What do I believe in you in? That you can get this game running? On an emulator? Because I could believe you. I'll believe in you. And magic. You have magic. I'll, I'll check real quickly. Just recheck. Wooden block stereo. Wooden block table. Okay. I really should be writing these things down, you know? My other dude got a freaking hay bale. By the way. This dude gets a freaking stereo. which is down here done you've never seen effect as such competitive effective animal crossing gameplay right, what is the what are the exterior items Natural garden chair, natural garden table, bird bath. Garden chair, garden table. Need a new damn controller. Get the Switch Pro controller. The Switch Pro controller is the best controller on the market. Except for the D-pad. D-pad kind of sucks. Uh, garden table. Do I even have that? I mean, surely they would not give me something I can't craft. Succulent plant. Hmm. I mean, we can craft the bird bath. With the NES controller. Could also get a NES controller. Natural. Garden. So wait, we can't... We can't actually craft those items, dude. Natural garden table, natural garden chair. Where the hell do we get those? I guess maybe the nook shop has them? Maybe it's the things we're supposed to buy instead of not buy. Okay. I don't think they're gonna be wanting anything that is like branded from Nuke. You never know. Is the sh is the shoulder button that's not analogs R or ZR? I think it's ZR. Hmm. 
At least I think so. Bath, not for sale, campfire not for sale. Hmm. You tell me. I guess we check the the nook's cranny then. If it's not there, I I don't really know what to do. You don't suppose a natural garden chair would be a tree stump, right? Like, am I, be, am I being stupid here and thinking that? Is that a stupid conclusion to get to? Because it would be a natural garden chair. Who's the extra ladder recipe, vaulting ball recipe? Hmm. I mean, there's almost no harm in trying it, honestly. What is this? Velvet stool. I'll buy it. I'll buy it. I'm not buying the rack of freaking knives, dude. Who the hell puts knives on a rack like that? So much wasted space. Yo, Chicky. Natural chair. Natural garden chair, natural garden. I mean, if if it was a tree stump, what would be a natural garden table? You know? The two have to pretty much be connected, so if it's not that, then I don't know. If you're supposed to have crafted a bunch of stuff and you're getting new ideas. Because I have... I Oh, there's a natural garden table, natural garden chair. Ah, I missed them entirely, that's why. I was looking for, like, actual garden, like, green stuff. So I just missed it. See, they're going for a very specific aesthetic. One of the buttons doesn't work, so I'm gonna have to use the keyboard. That's stinky. Fuck's sake. Is this not level? Oh my god. Please tell me these are level. These are... Oh, they are. Okay. Oh, thank god. I was about to poop myself, dude. All the interior and exterior items to this home are ready to go. 
Dude, we are zooming to our objectives right now. Stuff into the void. What tool are we missing? Oh, stone axe. Are we? Yeah. What do you need? Wooden symbol bed, wooden chair, classic picture. Not to turn in. That is understandable. That's the sun, by the way. I should have asked literally two hours ago. But, uh, like I said, way earlier in the stream yesterday, I made the game volume like 20 to 30% higher than it should have been. And I didn't notice. And, uh, you know, why don't I just listen to, the, to it myself, you know? Why don't I just listen to it to it myself, you know? Seems alright. Seems fine by me. Log dining table, log bench, wooden bucket. I have entirely forgotten what I wanted. Look. This is what you actually pay attention. Dude, we just hit 222. We're gonna hit 222 two, 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 two soon. I didn't read it again. Fuck. Wooden simple bed, wooden chair, classic picture. Wooden simple chair, wooden bed, classic picture. Not the ground. Wooden, simple chair. Wait. A wooden, simple bed. Oh, we need more wood. Where's the, the classic picture? I'm guessing that means like a, a water pitcher. Yeah. That's a fucking leaf, my dude. Yeah, see? It's like uh, Dragon Ball's capsules. Okay, we kind of need... Oh, fuck. No. We kind of need this, uh, an axe. A axe. To actually gather resources because... Using our normal one, we can only get two. Or oh, sorry, using our standard axe, we can only get two resources if we use it. Because then, well, I don't want to cut down the tree, you know? Again, I don't know how this dude is going to get down to, to the rest of us without a ladder. I hope he has a ladder. <laughs> Otherwise, he's going to be trapped. <laughs> I'd imagine they'll find a way. They'll, like, no-clip themselves down, you know, off-screen. Y'all ever just no-clip? teleport dude you know that sensation of falling in your bed when you, you you feel yourself falling and uh you jump back up that's actually that's actually just humans activating their their partial no clip it's a secret ability
One day we're all gonna tap into it. That'll be the, uh, the awakening of superpowers, like in My Hero Academia. Oh. I don't think we can do much here. It's censored, boys. You can't see it. You get, like, one chance to pull out your net and, and swipe at them. But then they just dodge you. Pull a, a Dragon Ball dodge. Not the bees. Yeah, we're getting every tree here, by the way. We're getting all these resources. Did you know what game used to scare me? A lot? For some reason? Uh... Toy Story 2 Buzz Lightyear to the rescue. That old PS1 Toy Story game. But I wasn't scared by the game, like, normally. There was one specific level I really didn't like, and it was the elevator level. For some reason, I found that level, like, traumatizing as a kid. I could play it. I just wasn't happy about it. Same thing for uh, one of the Rugrats games on PS1. One of those levels scared the crap out of me. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. The music in that level is pretty, like, haunting, dude. Also, just the, the massive elevator shaft. The really unorthodox platforming. Like, I'm pretty sure it was one of the first games I played. No, maybe not. It was maybe one of, like, I probably played a couple of them, so I, like, knew the basics about platforming. So then a game out of nowhere coming with, like, a level that's entirely vertical. I was kind of, like, it was, it's spooky, you know? It's like a, getting a ham sandwich and it comes with, like, chicken instead. You're like, this isn't what I expected, dude. Like, I'll, 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 I'll eat it. But it's kind of scary. Yeah. And yeah, this, the same thing with a, a Rugrats game on PS1. There was one, like, level which was actually genuinely not... Like, it was actually kind of scary. Where it was based around uh, flashlighting ghosts in the house. So you, have to, so you have to wander around the entire house. Flashlighting ghosts. And it was pitch black darkness. I really didn't like that level. <laughs> I'm back. I've collected every resource in the city. That's everything, right? Hmm. You know, I got a lot less wood than I thought I did. Actually, I did just use a bunch of it, so that's that's makes the most sense. 
Uh, what exterior items are you looking for? Log dining table, log bench, wooden bucket. Log. Log table, log bench. Log table, log bench. And then a wooden bucket. I are no get. Why'd you gotta make me go all the way back to my house for a single nugget, dude? I mean, I, I guess we get to drop... No, we shouldn't drop off our stuff just yet. We might need it. Uh, nugget. Oh, no. We actually don't have... No, you're not serious, are you? We don't have a... We don't have a single nugget? Damn. Well, I guess I'm gonna go and have a look for a rock we haven't hit yet. I think we hit all the rocks today, but I'll, I'll still have a look. Thank you for fossil. Oh. Oh. I destroyed them. I destroyed the flowers. I'm a criminal, dude. I need to be locked up. Absolute criminal. Oh, hey. Yeah, I think we've gone all of the uh, the rocks. We, we're gonna have to use a nuke ticket, I think, which stinks. Oh well, at least we can get more resources anyway. I don't think we have a single rock. Oh. No rocks, boys. Now let's go put our stuff away. And then we shall go to, uh, what's it called? Another island. Oh, that's not how we do that. See, let's make a... Uh, make some medicine first. Oops, I didn't mean to drop those. Supplies go in there. Thank you very much. Uh, this goes up here. Oh god, our our, our X already broke. Go with that. Man, I can't believe it broke. Put in storage. Put in storage.
Ja, kauft zum Medicina. We can go and buy a uh, an extra tool because honestly we don't have the resources to make one. That's the that's the thing. We need an iron nugget to make a stone tool, and we need iron nuggets to make the thing we need. I kind of want more clothes in the game, but I know that you unlock the able sisters at some point. I don't know why I'm talking to you. Dude, he has a little tiny golf pitcher here. Yas. Let's check our, uh, our nuke mouse. What did we get that for? Oh, in development. Ah. How much wood you chopped? Partially obscured talent. Taking the sting out. Oh, hey, we're using medicine. Teary eyed crybaby! Sick, almost 3k again. Top. Oh, not drop. What do you mean everyone pitched in? It was entirely me. I, I supplied every resource. Oh, lazy. I mean, I suppose it is my prerogative to supply everything. Not like I'm saying no. Look, Miles, please. <clears throat> Alright, I've finished my drink. Now I can't spill it like I did yesterday. Have I been here before? Yes, I have. I 
I think it's it's giving it's feather giving us recycled islands because we are not allowed any more villagers. So it's not putting us on an island that will have a villager with it. Either that or there's only three islands. <laughs> Which kind of suck. Hey. Uh... I mean, I could make that. Not the resource I need. Need sticks and stones. To break my bones. Actually let's 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 shake a bunch of ones and use our net at the same time. Dude, there's so many fucking pairs. I want I want sticks, not pairs. Why are there so many pairs? Why does every single tree have pairs? that just in case dude no joke every single tree has fruit I mean that that's cool uh, my inventory is gonna hate me but you know it's cool some fruit and then let me eat it. I don't care if I pick up weeds. We kind of need weeds anyway. Eat. Eat. Why don't we just get to maximum strength, dude? Dude, that sound of them eating is so satisfying. It's great. I don't think we've ever been at Max, so... Eat. Well, shame. I'm not going to find sticks on this island. Just telling that right now. Which means we actually are going to have to buy a tool if we want our stone axe. Or any axe for that matter, actually. Because we don't, again, we don't have sticks. We can't make the, uh, the standard one.
Just pick up every single thing, dude. I would do more fishing, but I don't know if the fishing we can do is going to be beneficial. Fish honestly don't sell for as much as I thought they would. Oh. Immediate deletion. Not only do they not sell for as much as I thought they would, but we also don't get any new ones. Consistently. We just kind of get the same ones. We can do some fishing later though. I also can't, it's, it's a shame because I can't really talk during fishing because you have to pay attention to the sound and stuff. Part of me wishes you could kind of uh, hop down. Instead of having to use the ladder. That's fine. It's not like this is a fast fast game or anything. fruits on the ground, dude. If a wasp is nearby... Oh. What the heck is that? Orchid Mantis. Does it say a bee? But a honeybee. I thought I assumed that if there was a uh, a wasp nearby, that that meant there was a wasp nest in one of the trees. I did uh, read somewhere, I think it was in the comments of a YouTube video talking about this game, that you shouldn't be selling items you think you should be selling. Or at least not commonly. Stuff like, uh, like weeds, fish, no, not fish, like weeds, uh, yeah, okay, maybe fish, insects, stuff like that. This is the common junk you'd find, and you think, oh, just sell it. Because you need it in uh, crafting recipes later on. And I'm slowly starting to learn that, because of how much we've needed weed, uh, weed recently. Ooh. So I'm valuing it a lot more uh, than just, you know, picking it up to make the island look nice. You know, it's not a good thing that we're insta-killing these rocks. Not a good thing at all. In fact, it's quite bad. Might be catastrophic even. So, uh, I'm gonna get a tool that won't make me harm it.
I want this. Then let's make a uh, proper axe. We shouldn't be insta killing these. No, we still are. Once you to install a third emulator, that sucks. Dude, I, I kinda hate emulating things. Because emulation is freaking hard. Actually, no, it's not hard, it's just time consuming. Where it's like, hey, install this set of shaders. By the way, also install this set of sun. Like, also install this sound engine. It was a pain in the ass to get working with stuff like Spyro back when I streamed it. What else did I stream? Uh, I might. I don't think I've ever streamed Crash Bandicoot. I should probably buy uh, the remaster. The master? The remaster. I should buy the remaster on Steam and play it on stream. I've already played through uh, the first two Crash games in full. In the remaster. I, love, I can do it again. That's one of the things I love the most about streaming, actually. Streaming gives you a motivation to play games you've already played. Just like, oh, I can stream it, you know? Get to, I get to play through it again, and I get to stream something for a while. Double win. Is land completely cleared out? No fuck getting out, I'm doing it. Full inventory, uh, lots and lots of pears. I should probably uh, sell all the fruit we have. We've been farming a lot of fruit re recently. We only have three iron nuggets, which is scary. Let's do some fishing, why don't we? see it. You know what game I should also stream again? I should stream uh, Vampire... Vampire Smiles the Dishwasher. Or is it the Dishwasher Vampire Smiles? It sounds completely nonsensical from the title alone, but it's a pretty great game. Oh, I can't even carry it. See hey, you, bitch. Ah, uh, yeet. I streamed it once, and then I didn't stream it again. Even though it's a good ass game. I think I'm also going to do the same thing with Spore. With the, the Coomer playthrough. 
I'm gonna reboot it. Instead of like uh, just continuing it like normal, I'm probably gonna reboot that that part and just kind of class the part as like an outlier. Just through happenstance, we lost our save. So. I wonder what I want to do. Um, let's do two things. Let's let's put stuff, uh, resources into our house. Then let's grab all the fruit we have. The what well, the fruit we don't need. And uh, you know, sell it. Put in storage. Oh. I'll also put this in storage. Because uh, I feel like we have a lot of things we can give to uh, Blathers. Alright, let's, let's look through our fruit. There is none. Oh, not you, man. We also better keep some. Oh, look at all that wood. We have lots and lots of flowers. Should we sell some? Yeah. I think I'll keep 10 of each. Uh, I'm gonna sell this doll. Oh, your pockets are full. Really? Oh my god! That's all shit we're selling? Dude, we're about to be a billionaire, dude. Thank you, Nightbot. Forgot to say. None of us are thanking Nightbot. Uh, sorry, wrong house. None of us are thanking Nightbot anymore. Damn. Poor Nightbot. Hey boys, I have a lot to give you. Like, a lot, lot. I hope, you got, I hope your pockets are full. I'm gonna need the big bills this time. They, they see what I pull out and they're gonna be like, what the fuck, dude? Oh. I'm a burial. I was expecting more than that. Is that, is that greedy? Is that being greedy? That's a lot of shit, dude. Dude, I'm so glad they don't block you anymore. You can just push them out of the way. And from what I recall, in New Leaf, if one of them creeped up behind you, you would be stuck. Not like stuck, stuck, like you couldn't escape. But you would you would take effort to push them. In this game, you can kind of just push people around, which is quite nice.
I don't need anything actually. Don't know why I came in here. Let's is Scoot in this game? Scoot? I think Scoot is in this game. I don't actually I don't know. Uh from what I know. Uh not a lot of them not a lot of the villagers reappear. So what do we need to make? Uh, let's just take everything we need. all our crafting resources let's go and see what we need to make yeah i don't know all the villagers that return i hope a lot of them return i really like a lot of them i'd imagine they might add them in as free updates but that would be kind of weird uh, didn't we have objects we needed to give that we already constructed? Log dining table, log bench, wooden bucket. We did all of this for a freaking wooden bucket. I remember now. Unbelievable. Sorry, we couldn't craft it. <laughs> and I forgot to get the rest of the items from our... our place. Where's the log? And I think I can put the rest of my inventory into the, uh, the storage. But I'm not going to do that because every time I have, I need to get more resources out again. So, uh, yeah, I'm not doing that. Oh, it's uh, outside stuff. That over there. Then we pull. Pull this bad boy over here. Oh, fuck. No, not saving it. It has to be done. No. 
Grab it. Push. Pull. What do you mean the log bench isn't in the vicinity? Oh my god. It would be so much easier just to pick it up and, and, and place it back down. But listen. I'm not doing that. All interior and exterior items are way to go. This means... All the home furnishing prep work is done. Done. Got him. Let's just make sure they're moving it. Yeah. I didn't know. I didn't want to move the stuff and then it'd be like, oh, you, you didn't check again. So hey, we done. Hey, Nuke. I just want to play Animal Crossing, god damn it. Fences! Fence gang. When are we going to get some more clothes? Hmm. Also, this is stuff we already own. Or we can make. Although it doesn't allow us to... Uh, to get things we can we uh we make Yo We can go have a look and see what hair colors we can have. Oh, I still I still like this color the most probably. Show me the money. An entire second row. <laughs> I 
That is quite nice. Also, again, this is... This is just Doppio at this point. What else can we make? Do we need to craft anything else? I don't think we do. Freaking wooden block toy. It's somewhere a little better than that, actually. Actually, putting it at the end of the bed isn't bad. A little bit claustrophobic, maybe, but... You can't put them right up against the wall? What's the freaking point? Put this away, put in storage. Give us simple wood fences. the DIY workbench away. I mean, we should actually know we should always carry the DIY workbench with us, I think, maybe. I lied. We can put away all of our, our stuff now. Crafting is over party. You need to get so you can get that sh to get the shit that inevitably falls behind the crack. This isn't entirely true, actually, because very recently I had to move Quite a similar looking, uh, it wasn't a bookshelf, but it was a desk, not a desk, a cabinet. What do you mean I can't use this item right now? And behind it was a glove I didn't know I'd lost. I oh, know I did know I'd lost it, I just didn't know where it went. I was like, oh, well, you know, would have been nice to know that beforehand, you know. $260 for a Switch Lite plus AC. I wouldn't get a Switch Lite, personally. But that's my opinion. I don't think the Switch Lite's worth it. Let's place down these flowers, by the way. It's 360. I mean, a, a Switch Lite, you can usually find a site that's selling a, switch, a normal Switch just about the same price as the switch light also the switch light has a problem where it's smaller than the normal switch and people already complain about the switch's small size you know like people find the controls to be, the controller to be are the joy cons to be very uncomfortable and i'm like well if people find the joy cons uncomfortable then what about the switch light which is smaller like, I'm pretty sure the Switch Lite is pretty much entirely intended for kids. Because, uh, otherwise, like, who the hell is supposed to hold that thing? I, uh, so I would go for a normal Switch. Plus, that means you get to play on TV. And a much bigger screen, which is very nice.
I wonder. Oh, it says sold now, so... I wonder if the villagers coming here are the ones that I invited. I mean, logically point at that. But maybe these are like scripted ones first, you know? Not scripted. Why must Nintendo's games be exclusives? Because, you know, it's how Nintendo be. If I pick these up, will it destroy them? No. I mean, like, destroy their progress. Sorry. It's like, if I pick this up, will they go back to being non? Like, just, just, just starting to grow? Yes. Making this shit up, by the way. <laughs> I mean, it's good to check. I kind of don't care about the ones I have in my, uh, my inventory. I kind of want more reds. I shouldn't be talking to you. I should be looking at a... Uh... Y'all got any toilet paper? This shit's running out. I want to pull one of the power cables out of the wall to charge my 3DS, but if I pull the wrong one out, my PC's gonna shut off. That's why you organize. Hello. White, red. Dude, I hate the fact that you sell me in fives. I don't want five, I want six. I know exactly what cable on my uh, extension is my PC. I think. I think. Because I try to organize them. I mean, I've gotten a lot more organized in the past year than I used to be. The red monitor shut off. Actually,
Let's let's do sideways. What the heck? Hey, another one. Dude, someone should just go around and just fill their island with holes. I guarantee people already do this. Religiously. They create freaking mazes. <laughs> oh, I want to do that. I want to go to an island in this game that's just a maze. A maze of holes. Which one of these is a proper one that's been blooming? This one? None of them? There we go. To do. Thank you, Nabot. <gasps> what is she story, dude? Oh, fuck. Get the, uh, the watering can, actually. Take it with me. Let's overwater these sons of bitches. You will be doused. Prepare to be doused. And let's place a bunch of flowers here. I like how we smack it at the end. Gotta like get a nice smack. don't need to fucking put a hold on.
Enjoy the sustenance, boys. You know what? You know what a little detail I like. I kind of started noticing it when you use the uh, what's it called? Watering can. There we go. When you use the watering can, you can hear the water tipping when you when they tip it over and tip it back. It's something I didn't notice at first, but it's actually quite a nice detail. And uh, I'll place the watering can down here. Just so you know, we have a... Uh... Doesn't guess I need it. Go. I should also go back and get the crafting bench. In fact, why don't we make a proper crafting bench? I think you need wood. And what else do you need? Play, I'll just take everything I need. Again, what would really help, I think, is if I could craft from my storage. Maybe that's an upgrade you get later on, though. Uh, let's put everything back in. Also, if you could, uh, can you? Oh, you can't. I wish you could, uh, highlight, select instead. I just fucking put the workbench in, didn't I? Big dummy does dumb thing. Where do I put it? I don't want to limit my uh, my mobility. I want to move it. Move it. Alright, get rid of the vaulting pole. There we go. You know, something like this. Oh, that looks a little bit ugly, actually. Where the heck do I put it? I maybe put it in right next to the tree. Quite nice. I like that. Mm. 
All right, Nookie boy. <sighs> what do you propose I do, Nook? The stump crafting bench outside. Yeah, but it probably won't look as good next to a tree. I like how the, uh, the cylindrical world thing that they do with this game. I like how pretty much its entire reason for existing is performance limitation. And it just turned into something stylistic which really works. Uh, let's go fishing, actually. Here's the big boy. Remember why I stopped playing? New Leaf the cat is fucked and disconnects a shit ton. Oh, the cart is fucked. Thanks for the dice. Hey, squid, those are worth a uh, decent chunk. Do they not actually bloop? <laughs> I just said bloop as well. What do you think about the fish puns? They're, they're nice. They're just some nice little bonus things. I know that they're recycled from the other games as well, though. Pretty confident. I've seen a majority of them before. Nice base.
Damn. Damn, there's nothing over here. Oh, I scared the fish away. It's a sea bass. Bass, sorry. Base bass. Oh, horse mackerel. Mackerel. We haven't gotten a horse mackerel before. That's quite nice. That's a big cloud dude's going over us right there. Blood. Pull out the rod. to base. So stop moving. I mean, it was literally inside that dude right there, but you know. Whoa, hey, there's a thing over there. Bamboo doll. This is going to be a uh, bit a bitterling. Ah. Oh. 
It would have been a barreling. Oh. <laughs> the fucking clapping. Excuse me, TV. No, I don't want you to turn off. Thank you. <laughs> you can just keep going forever. Should get like a bunch of people in the same, uh, same game, same island. And just have them start clapping at, at different moments. So it's a never ending string of claps. Like a minigun. The closest thing to weapons we'll get in this game. Dab! Hit him with the... Dab! I'm honestly surprised they didn't actually make a dab joke with that fish. It would date this game pretty hard, though, actually. At least this game is going to be pretty timeless. Fucking bass. This is, might be a sea butterfly. Or a mackerel. I would, know, I would expect a mackerel of this size. No, not a mackerel. Yeah, a mackerel. See, told you. I'm all right with running up the river when uh, I'm going up. Because uh, when I'm, oh, yellow perch. When I'm running up the uh, the island, I can see much farther. But when it's like this, when it's got like a slightly low angle, I much prefer to walk because uh, I might not actually see the fish and scare them off. The fuck? Freshwater gobby. We swap out one of the 20 bases we have. Let's 
put What is the new fishes we got? Oh, the mackerel I was putting down. Can I put these on here? There we go. Actually, it might be more sensible to put them down here, maybe? There we go. Sleep. Angling for perfection. Hey, we fished a hundred times. Seriously telling me to chop wood? If a woodchuck could chop wood, would a woodchuck chop wood? Is that how it goes? I think there's a little bit more to it that, than that. Past master. Oh, it's more fishing. Place 20 fences. Oh, it wants me to place fences. So what I'm gonna do over here, if it wants us to take a picture, we can do that. I think you do the camera first. You gotta do the expression. And you gotta zoom in. What is that? Catch uh, insects? Catch bugs, catch an olive flounder, rub wood, catch a, war, uh, catch a wharf, roach, hunt trees. What's the new DIY recipes we got? Oh, young bamboo? I don't have bamboo. Oh, the rest of these were selling. I forgot. No, we're not. There's some we're keeping. Uh, like the Manila clams. We'll craft these clams into the useful fish bait. craft anymore. Uh, did I go to the wrong person? I did. See so, ya. Yeah. Sorry, Nuki boy. No one cares about you anymore. Fortunately. Not true, actually.
I'm offering all of this. Give me money. What the fuck? I expected more than that, dude. Damn, you guys are cheapskates. I just went out and caught all that fish. Excuse me, boys. Let's drop a box. I guess I can drop up anything I want to sell. How does this work? Drop up items to sell at any time. Just place the items inside the box. Payment will be deposited into the bank the next day. Items bought are at 80% of their shop trade and value due to handling fees. I mean, that's kind of shite, don't you think? Kind of just like a, a downgrade from the previous where they were always in the shop at all times. Yo. My man's gonna become the new frickin' Topo. The next god of destruction. He's creating the pride troopers. I wonder where's where's KFC? There you are. Just sitting here? Bowling is a exercise? I guess it is. Hmm. I have not bowled in like 10 years. Still weird how I can play actual music. Look at the music, let's actually place our radio. Here we go. All right. Yeah, eat. Well. I think that's pretty much all we need to do for today. Save complete. Dope.
<sighs> Oof. All right. Well, that was fun. This game is really, really fun. And I'll definitely be playing it again more. All right. I'll see you later. Thanks for watching.